This video demonstrates how to do a collect all and save in Ableton. If you have any third party software that we may not have, you will need to bounce those tracks first. This is how you would go about doing that. As you can see, we have a CS80V here that we need to bounce down. You will need to freeze the track. This makes a temporary bounce of that track. Once this is done, you will need to then flatten that track. This now turns it into an audio clip. Then go to your file menu and save your live set on the desktop. Once you have done this, you will need to go to your file menu again and go to collect all and save. Make sure all the boxes are set to yes, except factory files from library. Once you have done this, hit the OK button. Now all the files are being copied into your new desktop folder. The project is now ready to burn.